Hey, hope you are having a great day. I'm Alex Joseph from Doc365. I will show you how to add a news report to SharePoint page in this video. Reports helps you to add relevant content to each page and thus it makes your SharePoint site rich with content and information. This also helps to make your site and pages organized. Let's get into the steps to add news report to a SharePoint page. Here we are going to add a news report to one of the pages in this communication site. The page link is already listed in the navigation. We are going to the page right from the navigation menu. The page name is ideas for the week. You can also go to the page by clicking on the pages and choosing from the pages list. Here's the page. So we are on the page right now. To add a news report to the page, you need to enter the edit mode. Click on the edit option here in the top right corner of the page. Now the page is in edit mode. Move your mouse pointer over or under an existing web part and click on the plus icon. This will open up the web part search box. Search for news in the search area and click on the news option. Now we have added the news web part to the page. Next step is to configure the web part properties. For that, click on the pen icon placed on the left side of the web part. From the properties pane, set up features like new source, layout, filter, etc. Choose the options you wish. Here we are keeping the new source as this site and layout at, as side by side. You can also set the number of news posts you wish to show. Choose whether you want to show the number of views, show order, show the show the first published date, etc. You can also choose to hide this web part if there is nothing to show option. If you want to hide it when there is no news posts available. There are also fil filters you can set and there is also the option to enable audience targeting and also there is options to organize the way you wish to display the posts. After making the changes you can either choose save as draft option to save the changes or simply click on republish to make the changes. You can also delete an existing web part by clicking on the delete icon on the left side of the web part. For that you need to be in the edit mode and as you can see there's a del delete web part icon here. If you can just click on it, it will be deleted. And like you did before, just click on republish to save the changes. Hope you understood the steps clearly. If you have any queries, let us know through the comment section below. Thank you and have a great day.